Hello and good afternoon from Antioch, California. It's me, Yogi Cecily, and I am here for your Wednesday afternoon vinyasa yoga treatment. <laughs> Hi and welcome. You found me on Facebook and thank you so very much. I actually really like broadcasting on Facebook. I am Mondays on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm Cecily underscore Yogi if you want to find me. And I'm doing what it seems to be uh, wildly popular is Yoga with Weights on Mondays at 12 noon. That class is about 45 minutes. I like the long form vinyasa, which is what we're getting ready to do here. So come on down, get your mat out, get settled on in here. Okay, and what is up? What should we focus on today? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking hamstrings. You know, it's just been a while since I have focused on hamstring opening. And uh, so the whole class is going to point towards that. It's going to point towards getting you into splits. Don't be scared, <laughs> okay? Now let me give you all the handles. If you'd like to see other classes in this format, you wanna to go to YouTube on YouTube. I'm Yogi Cecily, so that's youtube.com slash C slash Yogi Cecily. Again, I am on Instagram, and if you'd like to make a donation to these social media classes, you can hop on over to venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest, and your donation is greatly appreciated, right? So I want to keep bringing you social media classes. Why? Why, 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 why? Um, because I have a feeling that maybe, oh, you don't practice as much as you could or should or would. Uh, and I want to just keep everyone inspired uh, doing their classes. Maybe you can't make it to the gym. Maybe you're not ready to go back to the gym. Maybe you can't afford the gym. <laughs> Maybe you can't afford personal trainer. Maybe you like outdoor yoga, but it's raining where you are. All of these wide ranges of reasons why these uh, social media formats are just perfect for you. You can fast forward, you can go back, you can enjoy it live, like you could set your clock and be like, oh, 12 o'clock in California at least. Now's the time for me to do my yoga. So if that's you, I am here for you, right here, right now. If you're in New York on the East Coast, I know it's 3 p.m., mm -hmm. maybe a late lunch, let's do it, okay? All right, I'm coming off of my block and I want to get ready to move. Now, opening the hamstrings, oh my goodness. Let's start here with long legs out in front, flex toes, hands to the rear. And I'm just gonna sit up nice and tall, right? A little bit, lift the ribs, roll the shoulders back. And you see, I'm already doing these little presses forward. So why do this? I'm trying to keep a long back and I don't wanna think about hamstring opening as, uh, or splits, let's say, I don't wanna think about splits as just a problem in the hamstrings, right? There's a lot going on between the hamstrings, the lower back, plus the ribs. You all hear, hear me talk about the ribs so much. So we get into some idea about forward folding has to do with getting your hands out to your toes or getting your face down to your knees and there's just so much more going on. So I wanna to start today with actually getting the ribs forward, rolling the shoulders back and putting a little bit of an arch in your back. Yes, so we're here. This is gonna be your inhale. Now we're going to point the toes, bend the knees, round the back, send the hands forward, and we're gonna tilt the pelvis and just take a little bit of a scoop back and exhale up. See the bend in the knees. Now extend the legs, Flex the feet, turn the fingertips back, arch the back, look up, inhale. Mm, exhale, bring the arms forward. Little bend, a little point in the toes, right? Scoop back. Oh, this is difficult, I gotta think about all these things. And up, let's go back and forth. So flex feet, I'm being super deliberate with everything. Flex feet, straight legs, press down the back of the knee. Yes, good, 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 good. Ribs forward, shoulders back. Don't be afraid to arch the back and look up. And then hands forward, pointed toes, soft bend in the knee, scoop the pelvis. So this is a round back. See, so we want both, we want both. Let's do two more of these. 
Flat feet, fingertips back, ribs forward, shoulders back, open the throat, inhale. Exhale, hands forward, point the toes, bend the knees and scoop. Yes, there's a lot going on. Oh, and up one more time. Flex feet, hands back, lift ribs, shoulders back. Inhale and then scoop, point the toes, soft bend, scoop back. Scoopy, 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 scoop, scoop, scoop. Great. I want to stay here. Take your left leg, draw it in and release. Right leg, draw it in and release. Four more. Left. Now notice I'm kind of in this sit up and right. So I just want to get the abs a little bit engaged. Right, so as we're drawing the leg in, notice I'm not pulling it in very far. Let's just do two more. One more left. I'm not, I'm not pulling all the way in. Yes, and one more right. Good. Take a deep breath, arms back with the ears. Inhale, exhale, round back, forward fold. Yay. Good. And point the toes, soft bend in the knees, scoop back and hold. I've got my sacrum down, but not all of the ribs. Left leg, inhale, right leg. Inhale, left leg, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale, arms back with your ears, inhale, exhale, yeah, there's a little bit of a momentum forward, oh, gosh, I like that, I'm going to do it once more, but why, you know, if we're going to be doing splits, hamstring openers, like, why start here, it's to understand uh, how your body works. How exactly does the leg come to your body, right? How ex exactly, what do the ribs do to give the idea of getting the knee on the nose, which many of you can do, right? Let's do one more each leg. Many of you can do this in this position because with the abs contracted, your back is rounded and you're going to be more successful doing that. And that's okay. Inhale back, exhale forward. Flex feet, forward fold. All right, I like that. Let's do rolling like a ball with the forward fold. I did this in class uh, yesterday evening at Equinox, so I like to actually send a little momentum into the forward fold. Here's the deal. I don't make a big deal going back, right? But I do want to go ahead and get a good stretch forward. Let's take four more. Four, so you notice, mm, you know, I'm not going into full plow pose. Exhale three, and if this is working for you, you're going to start to feel some burn, some engagement through the core. Breathe, inhale, exhale, two. Notice how I keep my knees bent while I'm rolling. See, they're going to stay bent. I'm not going to straighten them out. And let's take one more. One. I like it. Upa Vishta Konasana. Okay. Oh. I love taking these platforms just as a little bit of teaching uh, so that we learn a little bit about the body. You know, some people are, are tighter with the legs open, you know, like this is more of a problem than the forward fold, and then other people are the opposite. So what I want to use is I want to use Upavishta to begin to open the hamstring, yeah, but you might feel more of the adductors, the inner thighs. You might feel more of this stretching. So everyone's a little bit different. Let's go all the way to the right side, right elbow down, left arm across. Good. Up, inhale, shoulder blades back. A little bit of lift in the ribs, a little bit of roll the shoulders back. Good. And center. And let's go all the way left. And up, inhale, all the way right. Exhale. Up, inhale, all the way left, exhale, up, inhale, four more, is, exhale, up, inhale, and to the left side, left. Now go ahead and let your left elbow down. If you've been following my videos, you know how I am about just letting your body do what it's going to do. If your body is kind of doing this, you know, just for right now, let it do that. Right? Don't try to make it all super perfect. Right? So inhale. Okay, good. Hands on the shins. And we're going to push out. Exhale. Inhale. Prayer. Good. Exhale. Oh, inhale. Prayer. You notice I'm not going very far. Exhale. Inhale. Prayer. Mm, exhale. 
Inhale. Prayer. Let's do two more. Exhale. Oh, inhale. Prayer. And one more. Exhale. Oh, inhale. Prayer. Good. Place the hands behind the back, fingertips back, and just lift the ribs and sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulder blades back. Make sure your shoulders aren't up in the ears. Yeah, so we want to kind of get the shoulders down, ribs forward. All right, we're going to do this entire sequence again. Right, so the main thing here is that you're keeping your legs firm. So, so we want to understand how does the torso, how, how does the torso move around over firm legs? So I do want you to be aware, if you're going to the side and something like this is happening, like, like the knees are popping up, we don't want that sacrifice. So we can sacrifice anything else except that. Press down the back of the knees, pull the toes up. All right, y'all ready? Arms open, here's your inhale. And exhale. Can you believe over time, inhale, you'll be able to get the elbow down, all right? Inhale, because the muscles and the fascia holding your ribs, you know, the intercostals around the ribs, well, th those will stretch and become more fluid, yes? So it's not just your legs. We've got four more. Four, mm -hmm, and up. Inhale, ribs, 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 ribs. Three, inhale. I'm using oblique abdominals. Mm -hmm. Exhale, two. Here's your inhale. Up, up, up. Big, big. Here's your exhale. Good, 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 good and up 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 all right hands on the shins this is like a little like wash like a little scrub board mm -hmm. and push not trying to go way down inhale i am trying to sit up tall though everyone's a little bit different some people really struggle to sit up tall if that's you just work on it it's okay all right i used to have to work on all of these things yeah and then after a while they can become a little bit more natural all right, inhale, take two more. But I used to sort of so emphasize trying to go down that, uh, you know, my back was rounding. And so if you want a long back, just, just don't worry about how far down you go. Don't, don't even worry about it. Let's hold here. Okay, good. Now we're gonna take the left hand over to the right foot, right, which means the belly button is going to turn. Oh, give me, give me like little scrubs, like three little scrubs here. One and two and three, changing sides, and one, and two, and three, changing sides. I'm not trying to touch my foot, changing sides. I'm not trying to kiss my knee, changing sides. I just want a little bit of push, changing sides. Push, now all of this kind of upright, formula that I'm giving you right now is good for people who can actually touch their toes, right? It, it's good for all of us because you're a little bit rerouting your energy. One more each side. You're, you're trying to say, hey, I do want to go forward, but I don't want to round. Yeah. And that's a communication to your body. Good. Now we're going to go back to the right side and now we're going to round. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it doesn't matter. Now we just like, almost like yin yoga. And can I encourage you to um, have a set of blocks? Where's the other one? Here we go. And what can I tell you about, about blocks? If you feel like your elbows don't get to the ground, let me show you what I see a lot of times. I see people like trying to round and hunch and their elbows aren't any lower to the ground. So let's forget about all of that and bring some blocks in and just say, hey, Hey, hey arms, you're just here and bow the head. You still have a round back, but it, it has nothing to do with trying to push your elbows down. Do have a straight leg though, and do keep your toes flexed up though. Did you forget about that? Don't, don't forget, don't forget. Right, some people can go with lower blocks. And I'm feeling stretched. Me personally, I'm already feeling stretched. I feel low back stretch. Sometimes people are surprised to feel, to feel around the side of the sacrum or around the ribs or something in the lower back. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do this side to side bit first. So we're gonna start on the right side and go to the left and push three and three, changing sides and 
Huh? Some of you are, where's the yoga? Changing sides. Are we doing yoga today? Huh? changing sides and but this is exactly the type of program I'm trying to get my students and clients to do before they go into the studio like I would be very happy to know that you do this one at home you do this program at home right because it's just very um, deliberate and think of it like a tune-up yes and just a little tune-up we're gonna stay on this side and take both blocks over you can do this um, while watching TV, right? Listening to a podcast. That's the thing. If you're if you're following a vinyasa flow video, right? Um, you know you really have to kind of listen to all of that. This video, you're listening to me today, right? But but you can go back to it and just turn the volume down and go, oh right, I remember this. You could be doing something completely different. Yep, Facebooking. Instagramming, swipe left. <laughs> Notice I'm keeping you here quite a, quite a long while. That's so the nervous system can calm down, so you can stop trying to push and grip. Non-grasping, we don't we don't want to grasp at the position, right? And and you can round down three, two, and one. Good, come on up. All right, that was quite a bit of that. I'm gonna set my blocks aside. Let's take the legs to the right. I feel, you feel the hamstrings, they got a, a nice stretch there. And the inner thigh adductors, a nice stretch there. Okay, now the legs go up, uh-oh. These are switches, and I'm gonna sit up in a crunch. Notice the legs are long and straight. Let's take 16 switches, one and two. I am contracting the abdominals and sitting up to the leg, and I'm also giving the leg a fairly decent stretch in, eight more. Eight, I'm not pulling the legs so much. Seven, six, that it's starting to bend and get wonky. Five, four, so this is like a 30%, 30%, two, and one. Give your knees a hug. What do I mean 30, 30%? So what I mean is that your ribs are sort of coming up 30%. There's a bit like kind of a 30% draw to the leg and about 30% of like possible momentum, right? And then you all are doing math and you're like, I think there's like 10% left over somewhere. Uh, you find a place for that 10%. <laughs> Maybe 10% flex on the foot, <laughs> right, your attention. So let's go 16 switches again. Start with either leg. My hands are about at the calf. They can go down here as well. Is 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I am, I am going for something a little bit broader. Give me eight more eights. I'm letting this leg drop. Seven, you don't have to go that wide. Six, five, four, maybe that's the 10%. Three, two, and one. Good, do the math. Good, bend the knees in five times. Roll forward, exhale, and roll back. Inhale, look at the knees stay bent. Exhale, look at the head bow down. Inhale. If you follow these videos, exhale. You know I do this motion quite a bit. Two more helps me warm up and stay engaged, but it also helps me calm down. One more, one, good, and up. And now we're gonna come up. Let's face the left side on all fours. Just spin it around here, all fours. Thank you, oh, thank you for being a friend. Da -da -da -da. Travel down that road and back again. Da -da. I used to love that song, I used to love that show, right? Golden Girls, tuck your toes. Oh, yes, I'm that old. I actually watched Golden Girls like when it was actually on, not reruns, okay. Tuck the toes, belly button to the spine, and downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Let's bend the knees down and give me some bird dogs. Bird dogs, so opposite hand to foot for three, two, one. Belly button to the spine, tuck the feet, downward dog. Exhale, and bend the knees, bird dogs. Four, doesn't matter which hand. Three, like, right? Two, just trying to get you active. And one, tuck the toes. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, mm, delicious. Bend the knees, cause we love it so much. Here we go, is four and three and two and one. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. We do two more, exhale. 
And bird dogs. Mm -hmm. Bird dogs activate the rear chain muscles, right? You might have heard that rear chain. Hashtag rear change. Google search SEOs. Rear chain <laughs> kinetics. Huh, good. I want to do one more. One more bird dogs, right? So up, 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 and up. Good. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Nice, good, set your feet wider than the mat, toes are turned out, walk all the way back. Oh, goddess, squatting, let's reach forward, hips down and forward, chest up and back, then hands go down, point your toes forward, walk all the way out to plank, inhale, and downward facing dog. Set your feet wider than the mat, walk back to goddess, hips down and forward, ribs up and back. Inhale, I used to not be able to do goddess squats and walk out. So I want, to, I want everyone to understand, you know, much is possible with your body. Yes, and turn the toes out. Uh, if I can tell you anything, it's by working a little bit on all aspects. So I know we're going to be trying to open your hamstrings, but hip sockets, right? Like what's going on with the hip socket? Here's your uh, plank, just the plank. And back to downward dog. Let's do this once more. All right, toes out, walk it back. Goddess squatting, see the hips go down and forward as the ribs sort of seesaw up and back. And then we're gonna turn the toes forward and narrow and walk out to your plank and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bend the knees. Please grab yoga blocks, grab your blocks. High blocks on the high side. Yes, yes. Your right leg is going to thread eight times. Threading one and back. I flex forward and point back. Flex forward and point back. Flex forward and point. Four more is four. Now, some of you know I would do this hundreds of times. Three. So when I was trying to get better at yoga, two. Give me one more, one more, and one. Great. So in the time of my life when I was trying to get good at yoga, I was doing a lot of just straightforward fitness, personal training, like in fitness. And one thing that the fitness people learn is, is like mobility training, like mo mobility, not yoga, but mobility. And I was like, oh snap. I wonder if some of these mobility drills will make my yoga better. And I was like, uh, yes. <laughs> right, mobility is flexibility. Flexibility is stretching. We think of stretching, what we think of is stretching. That's the way we think. And then we think of yoga as stretching, but it's not. Yoga is also strengthening. Why is yoga strengthening? Because mobility drills are also strengthening. So hey, did I like tie it in a bow for you? So mobility drills, <laughs> right? Mobility, yoga, stretching, mobility, stretching, yoga. <laughs> Out and back four more i'm flexing the foot forward pointing to the toe back three more three i do this in almost all of my in-person classes these days i don't think that students like it but we do it and left foot forward and all of the students are getting better their yoga is getting better yep now right we've been doing what have we been doing in-person classes since April, May, June, since, since June here in California, something like that. No, is that right? June, 4th of July, something like that, right? Middle of May. So here we are. Notice I'm, I'm trying to encourage students to walk the blocks forward. So I was in a class the other day, I was like, grab your blocks, walk them forward. And then people were all up on their fingertips trying to round down. Can you see it? You can see it now. Like if you're watching this video, you're, you know, uh, YouTube, whatever, if you want, you can, you can see now why having your tippity tippity fingers on the floor and rounding your back, that, that's just not what's up. It, it, yeah. So mobility, stretching, yoga, yoga, stretching, mobility, walk, 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 walk. One day the blocks will go past the foot like one day, right? Like, so you're not even trying to touch the floor down there, you're trying to reach forward, get that long back. Okay, good. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Oh, hamstrings are open. 
So now we'll walk back, feet are hips width apart. Love it. Look halfway up, place your palms on your shins. Yes, and then softly bend your knees. Place the flat of the palms on the floor way out here somewhere. Now look, it's not downward dog, but it feels like downward dog. Now look at the round back and the push into my uh, hands. The wrist is getting a stretch. Look how my heel bones are lifting. And I'm gonna walk back. Flat back, place the hands on the shins. This is your inhale. And now when I'm teaching these classes for you all, please understand like I have a number of clients that I actually give them these drills. So, so you're getting some parts and parcels of a private session. So this drill is really for people who, who actually have round back. So I'm saying, okay, round your back and then push into your hands, right? And I'm saying, okay, but don't plan on touching your toes. Walk it back and lift. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny thing, let's do four more. So I'm saying, okay, yeah, round your back, but don't touch your toes. Go forward into flat hands. It's not downward dog, it might feel like it. And then lift up, right? And then walk it back and then, and then, and then raise the ribs, you see? Right, so three more, three. Look how the hands go forward, the back is round, the chin is all to the chest. And back, but what is, what part of my body is staying the same is my legs are straight. Doesn't matter what my torso does. My legs are long and straight. And for many people, it's like really hard to keep straight legs. So this is training wheels for that. These are not locked knees. I don't want you to lock your knees. I'm not gonna lock the knees. But this is a long straight leg. The femur is stacked on top. Just a little bit of hands on the shins. And let's take one more. We're gonna go out. Right. Look at the round back. I'm really leaning into my hands. Good, 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 good. And take it back, 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 back. Here's your halfway up inhaling. Now let's stand all the way up inhale. And here I don't mind if you want to bend the knees a little bit. You bring yourself standing all the way up, hands on the hips. All right, good. Alternating knee raises with a little hug in. Okay, I'm going to step a little bit forward. So let's start with the right knee. Eight, eight and down. Seven and Six and five. You're like, Cecily, we're supposed to be stretching hamstrings. I know. <laughs> but those hip sockets, right? Up that core engagement. Up. What's up with all of that? Four more. Four. All right. Three. So there's some stuff going on here to pay attention to, too. Also, as well as the balance. And one. Good. Alternating, right? Little little swing outs. The idea is that your uh, big toe should touch your hands. Don't drop the hands though. So the right leg, eight and seven and six and one of my favorite exercises, five, four more, four. Sometimes I might call it like, you know, three, like kind of being like a soldier or Frankenstein, two and one. Good. Arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold any way you like. Look halfway up, inhale, hands to the floor, walk out to plank. All right, lower your body all the way down. Hey, let's go swimming. Can we go swimming? A little bit scuba diving. So scuba diving, you gotta take the mask on your face, and your face is not actually on the floor. Forehead is up a bit, elbows are up a bit, and we're just gonna chop the water to the rear. Chop, chop, swim, swim. Swim, swim, yeah, swim, swim. Elbows are up a bit, swim, swim. I'm not way up, right? My head is not looking up here. So it's like, like scuba diving. You're looking down at the corals. Four and chop and chop. Three and swim and swim. Two and swim and swim. One downward facing dog. I'm going a little bit through child's pose. Inhale and exhale. All right, walk your hands back to your feet. Stand up any way that you like, inhaling, and hands on the hips. Let's do that last drill again, so start with the knee raises. I'll tell you why in a second. Up, good, and up. I want you to notice, is, can your knee, can your knee come up? Right, so getting your knee higher is different than getting your leg higher. However, 
if your knee can come higher, that is showing that your hip joint has the necessary room. Like I have some people, their knee goes here and they have to round. That's, that's telling me that there's something locked up in their hips where their leg really can't get any higher. And then I have other people that can stand up quite tall, four more, give me three, two more. They can stand up nice and tall and the knee comes right to them and one. But then this next drill hands out, this is showing me something else. One. Now, now uh, as a personal trainer, I'm like, hmm, if the leg can't stay straight, like if that happens, the leg is going up but it can't stay straight. Okay, now I know I'm really looking at a tight hamstring and some other things. Yeah, give me four more. Four, three, has a lot to do with the standing leg, yo. Two, you might feel some burn in the glute in the standing leg. And one, yeah, here are my clients. You know who I'm talking to, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Some of my clients, if they're watching, they're like, ooh, I think she's doing this whole class for me. I am. <laughs> I'm doing it for you. You know who you are. All right, bring the body all the way down. Good. Now, swimming engages the rear chain. It actually contracts the hamstrings and the glutes, the upper back. So believe it or not, right, believe it or not, when you want to stretch, stretch, I'm using air quotes a lot with that word today, I'm not a big believer in that word, but, but when we use the word stretch, we all know what we're talking about. Like, you know, it's a good place, it's a good landing place, right? Eight, so sometimes when you're trying to stretch or lengthen an area, you also need to engage it. So kind of like a back and forth and a back and forth, like engage and release. Give me four, three, two and one. And the knowledge about that comes from, yeah, you guessed it, mobility training. That's what we really all need is mobility training. Oh my goodness. Now you see, after that swimming, doesn't it feel like your hamstrings sort of tightened up? Which you might be saying, I don't want that. But now you notice though, that your mind can focus more on the area. You're not just thinking of for one thing for that area. Let's come on down, grab a block, step the left foot forward. And this is five times straighten and bend, straighten. Now, for students who do a lot of my classes, you're like, are we gonna do yoga? Like, when do we do yoga? So what are we, about 30 minutes in? Yeah. Everything that I've done so far it is, is what I like to call like the, the pre, pre-class or, you know, like warming up for yoga, like getting ready or your daily, day-to-day -day mobility training. Give me two more. Two, yes, and one more. One. All right. Now, it's up to you. I'm going to get rid of the block for me, uh, mostly because I know that I can get my hands past my foot, so that's, that's an indicator. Not only can my hands go past my foot, but I can get flat hands. The legs are straight. So that's the most important thing is that there's no buckling or shimmering, or right? So if you have shimmering and buckling going on, get that block back in there, all right? Or use your, use your sofa or use something near you and come up, come up until all of that stops. And then you have to say, oh, hey, snap. Hey, this is, whew, oh, let's just, let's just stay here. You know, like in the horror movie, you see the horror movie, and you're in the audience, and you're like, no, don't go there. Don't go down that dark hallway, no. That's what I think about stretching sometimes. I see people, and I'm like, no, don't go down that dark hallway, no. <laughs> Right, stay higher, stay out of trouble, stay out of trouble. All right, prasarita parottanasana. Not too wide, I'm not very, very wide here in this pose. So a nice medium wide. Turn your toes out. We're doing sunflowers. I always say this comes from the yoga fit program. She calls them uh, Beth Shaw. Beth Shaw calls these sunflowers. Seven, All right, six, and five, you can do breathing either way. You can inhale up, exhale, 
or inhale down. Three, exhale up. Right, two, so sometimes play with your breathing. And one, hands to the floor. This is Prasarita Padottanasana. And then we're gonna grab the block and go to the right side and bend both knees. Pause. <sighs> right. Five times straighten and bend. So I'm gonna push back, straighten and bend. What I want you to notice, straighten and bend, is that the shape of my torso stays the same. So now we have a situation where it's my legs are doing the bending and straightening and not the curving, and the back pretty much stays flat. Actually, give me two more of these. And this is what I mean, like sometimes come up higher, like use the seat of a chair, so that your legs understand you're, you're not trying to touch the toe or anything. You're trying to get your legs to operate while the upper body stays relatively the same or calm. Now remember, some people can, you know, bring their hands on the block, right? And it, and it is, I have some students who will say, well, they'll go lower, they say, oh, I feel my back stretching. Just understand, at, at a certain point, it is the combination of a long back and a long hamstring that allows the head to go down on the shin bone, not even the knee. Let's go to Prasarita Padottanasana. Use a block if you need. It's not about trying to get your head to the floor while your legs are shimmering and buckling, right? So we don't want the knees to buckle. Medium wide, right? Hands on the hips and stand all the way up, inhaling. Oh, bend the knees, place the elbows on the knees, and let's take eight sunflowers, eight and up. So now, can you believe we're ready for sun salutes? Six, like what? <laughs> Five. We'll do a few sun salutes, four, and then I'm going to give you some handy dandy, straight away hamstring stretches. Three, yes, two, I did not forget hamstrings, and one, good hands to the floor. Please turn to the right side, lunge, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, inhale, look at the long legs, mm -hmm. and down dog, exhale, long legs, push the heel bones back. Mm -hmm. Walk your hands back, back to your feet. Stand all the way up, inhale any way that you like, any way you like with your stand-ups. Exhale, forward fold, everybody needs something different. Please walk out to plank, inhale, and back to downward facing dog, yay. Good, step, just step the left foot forward, lunge. Good. Take your left hand up, spin towards me. Right, there's a lot going on here. My, my, my. Then plank, yes. Chaturanga, yes. Upward dog, yes. See the long legs. Don't let your don't let your legs flatten out and your heels roll in. So upward dog has a lot of attention in the legs and downward facing dog. Yay! Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand up any way that you like. I'm kind of doing a Pilates. Curl up, arms overhead, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. We'll walk out to plank, sure, 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 sure. Downward facing dog and pause, thank you. Right leg lift, you see I step the left foot a little bit to the center. Step the left, uh, right foot forward, lunge, and pause. Just think about things for a second here. You know, we could go anywhere from here. I could go to Warrior Three. I could go to Parshval Konasana. I could go to like a rotated half moon from here. So where you go from these lunges is, is I think a little less important than the lunge. Look at the long leg to the rear. Then the right arm will go up, right? And I wanna, I wanna turn in such a way that my whole, whole back is turning towards you. Top arm up, inhale. Good, and downward facing dog, exhale. Wonderful, all right, now I'm gonna add in a little bit of a jump, but may I tell you, don't worry about jumping so far forward. You, you, you don't want a lot of downward pressure in these jumps. So I'm gonna bend here, I take a little small jump, and then lengthen out my legs. See, so I don't want a slamming down there. We'll stand all the way up, inhale, any way that you like. 
and exhale forward fold look halfway up inhale step or jump back to chaturanga just remember if you're going to chaturanga you gotta let your elbows bend upward facing dog inhale so if you're going to be jumping downward dog exhale just remember that left leg lift not a lot step the left foot forward lunge and rest pause think about it where can we go from here let's do warrior three with the arms reaching back so i'm going to stay low i'm going to reach my arms back lift my gaze and press up 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 virabhadrasana three all right good hold there five so with the arms going straight to the rear you can really sort of feel your alignments three two squeeze into the armpits and one yay downward facing dog oh great right leg lift step the right foot forward in the lunge and rest wait 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 look at your position don't hit the wall do you need to use a block yes good breathe now let's prepare good get the arms going back a little hug into the armpits my ribs are low but my gaze is up just a bit take a breath and push forward and up 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 and up virabhadrasana three one of my favorite poses these days three i love the attention two and one yay hands down downward facing dog inhale exhale well look at the middle of the mat if that's where you're jumping softly bend the knees softly jump and then lengthen the legs stand all the way up inhaling and exhale forward fold let's look halfway up inhale step or jump chaturanga look at the bend in the elbows good upward facing dog inhale Let's do one more round this way, downward dog, exhale. Putting together little short vinyasas for you. Let's take the right, uh, left leg, sorry, left leg lift, inhale, step the left foot forward, exhale. Wait for it. Yeah, we could go to warrior one, we go to warrior two, right? Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a rotated half moon. Rotated half moon, revolved half moon, twisted half moon. A lot of different words before the half moon, but you have to remember half moon, standing balance, yes, like a twisted warrior three, something like that, yeah? So your left foot is forward, your right hand is down. Look, I'm going to turn towards you first. Inhale, St feels a little bit like warrior three. Exhale, finish the rotation, and then gaze skyward. Five, four, three, two, and one downward facing dog inhale exhale good 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 a lot of leg work today we love it so that stretches the it band step forward right foot rest breathe prepare i'm going to turn away from you get the left hand out this is the revolved half moon push and twist All right twist five Four, nothing's going down. Everything's actually going up. Three, up, up, up. Two, up and out. And one, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, yay. All right, please, sweet cats and kittens, bend your knees. We're gonna jump to have a little bit of a seat. Cross your ankles. Legs out straight in front, arms go up, inhale, and arms at your sides. You love it. You love it. Gosh darn it, yeah you do. <laughs> Let's place all the fingers around the right calf, the right ankle. Let's rock back, it's a nice straight leg. You're gonna let go and pulse up three with a pointed toe. So we're one, two, three, flex foot, stretch. Pulse, one, two, three, stretch. One, two, three. Give me two more, it is one, two, three, yeah, 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 and one, two, three. Come on now, sure. You can reach out for the foot or the ankle, like maybe a little higher. This is your IT band stretch. Notice the legs stay straight. Left hand, right foot, twist away from me. Then change and open and twist towards me. Five more, five, exhale. 
inhale, four, exhale, inhale, three, exhale, yes, yes, inhale, two, exhale, and open, inhale, one more, exhale, because we love it, and inhale, and down. Keep the right leg straight, bend the left foot in. So can you believe I, I started with a client, a new client this weekend, and she's working. She's like, I want to do the splits, all right? She's working in, you know, by the end of the session, I pretty much said to her, I said, you, you will be doing the splits in two months. She's like, really, what? I was like, did you, you see what we did here? Like in one hour, I showed her, like I literally showed her how it's going to be happening. And so sometimes it's just really understanding how your, how your body works and, and how to take what you've got and go from there. Like, so what's missing? So what's missing for a lot of people is actually back bending. So I'm gonna take my hands back here, and once again, I'm gonna lift the shoulders and look up, not even trying to touch the toes. Good, now from here, let's come on up to all fours. Step your right foot forward. So we're focusing on the right splits, the right hamstring stretch. Put a bend in that right leg, send the left knee back. Use a block if, if needed. And just know that it's here that it, it's here where a trainer can tell whether you're gonna to get to the splits or not. So you see this knee is going up, so, so my pubic bone is lower than the right knee. And it starts to be evident that what actually needs to open is this left side. And there's a pichon of back bend. There's like a little bit of backbending. Some people need to backbend more. I have to backbend more because my hip flexors are short. Yeah? So because my hip, I stretch, stretch, stretch them, stretch them. And you know, you're talking about a, you know, ligaments and after a certain point and they, they really don't get longer. So we always do the best we can. Now here's something many people can't do is just simply reach back with their hand. Yes, and say foot come to me. One, two, three, release, again, one, two, release, I guess this is all with a pointed toe. Now, some of you are like, ah, oh, my knee bone, I can't take that action on my patella bone. That's all right, so you can just hold the position. You don't have to go back and forth, but I just wanna show you that it's possible for many people, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go inside grip, flex the foot, and draw the foot in pretty close. Three, two, and one. Yay, prasarita paratanasana. Did you see me using the block the whole time? So, right, one would say that I'm flexible, but I still use the block. Let's come around left side, have a seat. Legs out straight in front. Uh-huh, feel that hip flexor. So now we're gonna focus on the left hamstring. It's gonna be interesting Right, because you're feeling your left hip flexor. I know. I know. I know. You're like, but Cecily, left leg, left leg. I know, left hamstring. You're going to come up, release, and point. One, two, three, flex, draw. And one, two, three, flex, draw. Three more. One, two, three. Sometimes I do forget what I'm doing, though. One, so you, if I mess up, send me a message like, girl, you did not do the left side. Somebody sent me a message once. They were like, uh, the left side? I was like, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so now we're gonna left leg straight, bend the right foot in. Hands go to the rear. This is a little, a little push forward while the shoulders are back. So I'm, I'm literally saying push, like, you know, push. Push this knee down. Sometimes don't think about stretching. These are engagements. Trainers will say engage. So many, many different words we can use, good. Now, IT on the left, IT band right hand, left foot, twist away from me. Eight, then open, inhale. And seven, this one I'm pretty much doing all with a flexed foot. And six, inhale. And five, oh, inhale, oh, four, oh, inhale. Yes, we are almost done for the day. Three, couple more minutes to go, inhale. And two, ooh, ooh, inhale. 
and one. Thank you, inhale. We come up to all fours, step the left foot forward. Get a fairly decent lunge. You know yoga blankets will help on this knee. A folded towel, we lift up, and there is a bit of an idea of back bend. We're trying to open this area of the body, the hip flexor, but also get somewhat of a slope as long as this knee doesn't go past the toe. And we reach back, oh my, 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 one, two, three, release, inhale, exhale, one, ooh, there goes my hip socket, it went, all right, got that little opening there in the front hip socket, that's what I need, two, three, yes, because I have quite tight hip flexors, two, some people have a tight hip flexor and a tight quad, my quad is not as tight as my hip flexor. How do I know? Because I can bring the foot up. Yeah. So some of you are like, your quad is like nah, screaming at you. I know. Three, I pull the foot in quite close. Two, and a one. Prasarita Padatanasana. But Cecily, you said we were going to do the splits. Yeah, we are. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Turn to the right side. This is what I call an even lunge. What do I mean by that? Both knees are bent about the same. See, neither leg is straight. So I'm going to take a breath and straighten both. Then I'm going to bend and wiggle a little wider and straighten both. I'm going to bend. Now this is up to you now. Wiggle a little wider and straighten both. We got two more. Bend, wiggle, see everything's starting to drop down a bit, and straighten both. One more, wiggle, I'm gonna drop the back knee now, and when I straighten both, I'm gonna push both legs out and away, and then lift the torso, five. Jean, Jean of course, if you're watching, you, you know your daughter, does this very well. She's a, she just dropped right down in the splits. That's not for everyone. It took me a while to, to, to work splits. And what do I have to open? Not this hamstring. It's, you can see it. Can you see the way I'm sort of rolled? So it's actually, you can see here now, this is, this is what's tight in terms of splits. Then we push up, wiggle in. Oh yeah, go back to Prasarita Paratanasana. And yes, we'll take the extra minute to do the other side, of course. So where do we go? We go to something that looks and feels like a lunge, but the key is that I've stepped in. I know I'm going to splits, but I wanna do process, right? Trust the system, trust the process. So both knees are bent and this feels good. So I straighten both and I can evaluate whether, whether I feel free here, bend, wiggle a little further. Look at the front foot is flexed up. Breathe, bend three, and push. Breathe two, this leg is a little bit better than the other, and push, and why would that be? And one, it's not because of the hamstring, this knee comes down, it's because this, you're gonna see it, this hip is more open, so then I push the legs out, and I'm up. And I can be a little bit more squared straight ahead on this side. Oh, and there's your splits for today, right? Three, you can do it. I believe in you. Two, of course I believe in you. Yeah, I believe in you. Don't worry about those things. I know what you're saying. No, I can hear you through the video. Don't worry about those things. Just do all of these drills. You're going to make it. <laughs> Let's come on around. You are going to make it. Now remember, you're already on your mat. So why not get a bolster out? Why not get your uh, yoga, yoga eye bags? Why not get your little essential oils? Oh, put a candle on, rest in Shavasana, and just be proud and happy that you did your yoga for today. Really yoga every day. Some form of yoga, breath work, meditation, asana, right, mantra, some form of yoga every day. Do you promise to say yes? I hear you. All right, thank you all so very, very much. I'll be back next Wednesday on Facebook. 
And then don't forget Mondays on Instagram, instagram.com slash Cecily uh, underscore yogi. And uh, donations can always be made to venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest. Hey, thank you all so very much. Bye-bye now.